What is going on everyone? It's your boy currently suffering in 90 degree weather. Welcome back to another video. Happy July. I hope you guys are all doing well. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to make a beat like upcoming rapper VG. So if you guys don't know who VG is, he's sort of on a similar melodic wave to Central C, but he's doing it in his own unique way. He's got two songs out which are making traction. I'm one of them's like a YouTube exclusive, so like I guess one real song. He's got Lavish, which is the song that's out on all platforms, and Explode, which seems to just be a YouTube exclusive. Do correct me if I'm wrong. But both of those doing numbers in the couple hundreds of thousands of views, which is really good for like this guy just came out of nowhere. So um, we're gonna be taking a look at how to make a beat like him and just sort of breaking down you know, the process. So as I said, he is on a similar melodic wave to Central C. So I grabbed this melody out of my new free loop kit and press, which, um, you know, if you haven't downloaded yet, um, like why? Because it's free, you know, just 10 loops for free. Like you're missing out, man. So uh, this loop is in there. And if you like what you hear, you can go grab this and nine other loops, uh, link on screen right now and link in the description. So let's take a listen to what we're working with. You know, I'm mainly going to be focusing on this guitar part here. And we can bring in this piano and these strings, you know, when we need them. But it's just mainly going to be the guitar because, you know, that's sort of going to be like the driving factor in this beat. So on his tracks, I noticed something that he likes or in his beats or that the beats do. I don't know if he picked the beats because of this is the hi-hats aren't going as crazy and you're not having as crazy perks. The hats feel more spaced out. So it's like dut, dut, dut. And then like a pause and maybe something else will happen instead of that normal drill pattern it's just so you know it's more spaced out and that's what we're going to be doing today um as well as you know not overdoing it on on the uh, drums and stuff so let's take a look at the drums that we got here i, I grabbed a bunch before the video and um, we got this snare which something else i noticed he likes snares in his uh, beats and we got some hats we got this kick we actually got an open hat. We haven't seen one of those in a while. And then we got the ghosty, my fave 808, of course, with the envelope on it. But, um, you know, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's jump into doing the snare first. This snare right here. Um, I'm going to make it a little louder, I think. And let's just jump into it. All right, that was easy. So uh, let's move on to the hats now. Um, we got two different hats here, as I played before, and you know, just kind of, kind of interchange between them. And as I said, not going crazy on them. So let's get into it. It's a nice little bounce at the end, but I'm thinking I'm going to go in and add a little roll with this hat here. Just kind of roll it out here. Look at that. That's speed right there. That's proficiency. And I think that's about all for the hats. Um, besides, we got this open hat here. Um... I messed around with it a little bit in terms of the length. I thought it was too long when I first grabbed it, but we'll sort of mess around, see if we can fit it in. All 
I think that's about it for the hats. You know, as I said, not going crazy. And what we're going to do now is just split them by channel, drag them out, and let's random color these. There we go. We are we are so organized, man. Look at us. So now that we got that done, I'm going to move on to doing the 808. So I went and I mapped out the placeholder notes just to figure out which notes go where. And now we can go in and do the fun stuff with the slides. So let's get into it. Let's get rid of the uh, strings here for a second. I'm also gonna kill the open hat. Um, I'm not sure if I'm rocking with it anymore. Remember, you can do slides, just stay in the key. And all the keys for my stuff are written on the sample. And what you can do, you come into here and you can drag out and you find the key. What is it? Minor harmonic. And you can drag it onto the root note, which is G, and figure out all the notes that you can slide to. So, you know, FL's got your back, I got your back if you're using samples like that. So just remember, stay in key. So I think those 808s are done. Let's move on to doing the kick. All right, so before we do the kick, you already know we're adding some soft clipper and boom, life hack, just soft clip everything. And coming on, we got a different kick. It's actually this KO kick here, which sounds pretty cool. Um, you know, thought we varied up a little bit, but you know, still boosting the volume and it looks quite loud in here. So hopefully we, we got some good clipping. We're not gonna get any clipping if I don't turn slide off. So there we go. Let's try pitching it down a little bit. All right, so I think that's all the components we're gonna need to arrange this beat. So I'm gonna go off camera, mix master, arrange it, and I'll be back to show you guys the final product. All right, everyone, so I am back, have mixed, mastered, ranged the beat, all that jazz, and I'm just gonna play it for you guys and sort of break down what I did as the beat goes along. Just starting off with the melody in the beginning, and we gonna bring in some hats, some more melody, you know, nothing crazy in the beginning. So here's that extra melody and some more hats. And then we got my tag and a riser coming in here. Hey, cool. So 
we actually remove this melody here from the chorus and we're about to add some more melodies and that open hat in here. So we're pulling back some elements to start the verse here. Yeah guys, so that is the final beat, making a beat like VG. Um, I'm honestly really excited to see where he goes in terms of his career because, you know, he's still relatively new to the scene and I think he could really bring in like a dope new sound into the scene. I just love rappers that are, you know, not rapping about the traditional shooty shooty killy killy over the uh, half sped piano stuff. So, you know, I'm really optimistic about his future. You know, I wish him the best and let me know what you think about VG and the beat in the comments below and also while you're down there just drop some more suggestions for future videos you know stuff you want to see and while you're down there if you could hit the like and subscribe button that'd be great i was on my youtube analytics right and only around eight percent of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed to the channel so go down right now hit that subscribe button ding the bell so you guys can be notified when i upload next as i mentioned in the beginning of the video free and press loop kit out now link in description go get that go cook up some stuff and yeah, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.